Hello, thanks for logging on to this week's Elon Local News Web Exclusive. I'm Katie Kaler. And I'm Brooke Wivag. Here are the stories we have for you this Thursday, October 30th. Election day is five days away, and incumbent Senator Kay Hagan has a 45-41 margin lead over her Republican rival Tom Tillis, according to the Elon poll, which came out this morning. When you break it down by demographics, 52% of women support Hagan, compared to only 34% in favor of Tillis. As for men, they continue to favor Tillis by about 10%. Elon Poll also says 7% of those polled remain undecided on who they are going to vote for this Tuesday. For all your Election Day coverage, make sure to tune into Elon Local News Election Show on November 4th at 8. Congressman Howard Coble is retiring in January after serving 30 years as our 6th District Congressman. Coble came to Elon Wednesday night to reflect on his last year in Congress. Mark Walker and Laura Field are running to take over his position. He told us what he plans to do in the last few months of his term. We'll try to keep being accessible to the constituents I represent, try to, to stay on top of close calls uh, legislatively, and just hope for the best. West End wasn't playing their normal tracks on Wednesday night. As part of their Human Trafficking and Restavec Education Week, Paraclean Scholars held a Restavec Freedom Foundation benefit concert. The Restavec Foundation is working to end child slavery in Haiti. The concert had multiple performances, including Elon's Gospel Choir, Smooth Progressions, and many more. In between each act, different Paraclean Scholars would go on stage and give facts about human trafficking and Restavec. This event is one of the many throughout the week that the senior scholars have been planning. Sophie Coe was the project manager of the Benefit Concert and says that this topic is really important to have an open discussion about and they hope they did it in a more fun way at the concert. So we wanted to create some sort of an event outside of the more serious ones that we're having to still educate people but to let them be educated in a fun and casual environment. If you were in the mood for some different music, classical pianist Ang Lee performed in Whitley Hall Tuesday night. Lee has been performing since the age of six where she made her first appearance in her hometown of Beijing. She was named one of the top 30 pianists in the world in the Clyburn competition in 2009. The Elon men's soccer team avoid a scare at College of Charleston last night, coming away with a 2-1 victory in double overtime thanks to a goal by Jason Waterman in the 105th minute. With the win, Elon jumps to the top spot in the conference with just one game remaining in the regular season. Here's the breakdown. If the Phoenix win at Delaware this Sunday, Elon will host the CAA tournament and receive a first round bye. The Phoenix would play the winner of the quarterfinal match on Thursday, November 13th from Red Field. If the Phoenix make it to the final, that game will be played Saturday evening. The time is yet to be determined. Now, if the Phoenix lose, they will await the results of Hofstra and UNCW's matches. Depending, how, depending on how those games turn out, the Phoenix could clinch either the number two or three seed and travel to either school or Delaware that same weekend. Follow ELN Sports on Twitter for the latest scores and updates as this bracket finalizes. While everyone is still getting their costumes ready for Halloween tomorrow, some men are getting ready for an even longer costume. No Shave November officially starts on Saturday, and it's for a good cause. No Shave November participants raise money for the American Cancer Society. The goal of No Shave November is to embrace all body hair since many cancer patients lose their hair during chemotherapy. Good luck to everyone participating. Be sure to tweet us at Elon Local News if you're putting down your razor for November. That's all the news we have for you today, but we'll be back right here live on Monday at 6. And in the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Have a great weekend, Elon.